Shaders for Minecraft 1.19.2. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install shaders for Minecraft without using Optifine. Optifine has been extraordinarily slow with updating to 1.19.2, and for that reason, while we will do an Optifine shaders video in the future, when Optifine does update, we're going to provide this video to you now so you can get shaders and get updated to the newest version of Minecraft. So, nevertheless, let's jump right on into it. First things first, we need to download shaders packs, right? Shaders packs are basically the different ways that shaders can be added into Minecraft and every single shaders pack is different. In the description down below, the second link down below, you will be taken here. This is our list of amazing shaders packs. Not every single one of these shaders packs will work with Irish shaders though. That's the shaders we're going to be installing. They all do work with Optifine. There are three that we're going to be featuring in this video, but feel free to test other ones on this list. If you do get in game and a shaders pack doesn't work for whatever reason, just remove it and then you'll be good to go. You can try another. For this video though, we're going to be using BSL shaders here. So once you click that, here's kind of what it looks like, but you can click the download button. I'm going to be right clicking and opening these on a new tab. We're also going to grab makeup ultra fast shaders here. So right click and open that in a new tab. And then last but not least, we're going to grab the SUS enhanced default shaders. This is also a high performance shaders as is makeup ultra fast shaders. From what I've seen, a lot of people want high performance shaders and that's what Iris shaders, the way we're installing shaders here today, is great at. It's very high performance. You're going to get better FPS with Iris shaders over Optifine shaders. You're going to be able to get better graphics though out of Optifine shaders. Nevertheless, downloading BitSlab takes us to this download page here where we want to click on BSL shaders and then finally we want to click download on the right and then finally scroll down and click this download button here. That will begin in downloading BSL shaders. While that's downloading, how about a SMR sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. This is your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And on top of that, over at Apex, you have 24 hours, seven day a week support, and over 200 mod packs with one click installation. Customize your server however you want and get help from their live chat support team should you have issues 24 hours a day. Nevertheless, check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your own server. Nevertheless, here we are. We have downloaded in the bottom left BSL shaders. You might need to keep this in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Every shaders pack you download, though, is going to be a .zip file. Make up ultra fast here. Come to the right hand side. Scroll down to the 1.19 section and click the orange download button there. Again, the download will begin after a few seconds. We're going to repeat that same process for Cylinder's enhanced default shaders. Come to the right hand side. Scroll down to the 1.19 section and click the download button here. It is worth noting that usually you want to find shaders that are 1.18 or 1.19 compatible with Iris shaders. Optifine shaders is a lot of broader of a range of version support, whereas Iris shaders, which is right here, Iris shaders we're going to be installing in this video, has more limited version support and you want to get like Minecraft 1.18 or Minecraft 1.19 shaders to have the best shot of things being compatible. Doesn't mean they're going to be compatible, but you're going to have a better shot if you do. Iris shaders here is ready to be downloaded. So let's go ahead to the third link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the Iris shaders in-depth guide on our website. It kind of goes over everything you need to know, but once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download Iris shaders button. Be taken to Iris's official download page. Once you're here, click on the download universal jar button, this big blue button right here. Click on that and the download begin in the bottom left. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the middle of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Nevertheless, it's 100% to keep or save the Iris shaders file as long as you have downloaded it from the links we provided, right? Our website here, if you click this link, you are 100% safe to download this. Nevertheless, go ahead and minimize our browser here and we want to move all these files to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in downloads. So you have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you will find Iris, Cylinders, Makeup Ultra Fast, and BSL Shaders, or any other shaders pack you want to install. Again, these aren't the only shaders pack that will work, but they are confirmed working. Nevertheless, as you can see, we've got our shaders packs over here and Iris. We're actually going to be starting off with Iris, so let's go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. It's not here. I don't have Java. Or if you don't have Java and your icon right here is weird, what do you do? Well, in both those situations, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to install Minecraft mods and Iris Shaders is a Minecraft mod. So it is required in order to be installed into Minecraft. So once you're here, go through this simple tutorial, get everything set up for Java 17. It goes over everything, how to fix issues, truthfully anything and everything you need to know about Java 17 for Minecraft, it's covered here. You may also 
also need to run the jar fix. This is a quick and easy file that you can run after you get Java 17. It's going to link the jar files on your computer back to Java. So let's say you downloaded this and it was a piece of paper, like that was the icon, or it was a WinRAR file or something like that. After you get Java 17, run the jar fix and it will make this correct. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. Now the Iris installer is going to open where you want to make sure Iris slash sodium is going to be selected, and then game version is 1.19.2. As you can see, that is the case by default for us. Go ahead and click install. The only reason this won't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.2 before. If that's the case, go play it, close out of Minecraft, come back and this will work. You also wanna make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed when you're installing any sort of Minecraft mod and that includes Iris shaders. So make sure that that is the case as well. Nevertheless, with Minecraft closed, Minecraft launcher closed and having played Minecraft 1.19.2 before, you'll be able to install this without problem. So let's go ahead and click on the X to close out of the installer and you can actually delete the Iris installer from your desktop. Let's get these shaders packs installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And when we open up the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that we have Iris shaders as a profile, right? So by default, I'm going to have that profile. It's going to have worked for me, right? There it is, Iris shaders. If you have that, awesome. Go ahead and click on installations at the top. And even if you don't have Iris slash sodium there, guess what? Go ahead and click on installations at the top. Then we want to make sure modded is selected. As you can see, we deselect modded. It disappears. We select modded. There it is. Iris slash sodium has reappeared. If you have this, by the way, great. But if you don't, go ahead and click on new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it shaders 1.19.2. And the most important part of this is clicking the version dropdown box here and selecting release Iris fabric loader right like that with 1.19.2 at the end. This is what you wanna see. There might be some different version numbers in here. It might be 0 0.15 or something or one point whatever. That's fine as long as it says 1.19.2 at the end and Iris fabric at the beginning. Click on that and then you want to go ahead and set our resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so we can see once we get in game and click create. Now we have this iris slash sodium profile created for us or you have the one you created. If you had the iris slash sodium profile, you're good to kind of start the tutorial back up right here. Go ahead and click on the folder icon right here, this folder icon, click on that, and this will open up the .minecraft folder. In here, you will have a shader packs folder, but I don't have a shader packs folder, Nick, what do I do? Well, if you don't have a shader packs folder there, I don't either. So go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and then title this folder shader packs, right? Shader, all one word, packs, all one word, all together, exactly like that. If it isn't exactly like that down to the character the capitalization if it's not exactly like that it will not work so go ahead and open up your shader packs folder here and then now all you need to do to install your shaders is drag and drop them from your desktop into the shaders packs folder right like so when you do that they'll obviously move over into here and now we need to come back into minecraft and now we want to play iris we can either do that with the one that's there or we can do that with the one we created it does not matter click play click play again confirming you're playing mod in minecraft and now iris is going to open up with your shaders packs installed now, you can install shaders packs in game as well, but the reason I like to show you that folder method is let's say you did install a pack with Iris shaders that doesn't work anymore, right? It, it just, it's not working in Minecraft for whatever reason, it's maybe crashing Minecraft. Well, guess what? You can go and uninstall that by just deleting it from that shader packs folder that you created or that was already there. Just go and delete it from there and then you'll be able to launch Minecraft without any issues, right? That's why I did it that way. I'll also show you how to access the folder once we do get in game, but as you can see, Minecraft is loading up right now, so we'll meet you on the main menu. Here we are in the Minecraft main menu. As you can see in the bottom left, we have Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that's automatically installed with Iris and all that to allow you to actually get shaders. But nevertheless, once you're here, you wanna go ahead and do options. And then you wanna go into video settings. This is completely different, but this is why Iris shaders can actually have better performance than Optifine shaders. And that is due to Sodium. And Sodium is what changes all these different you know, settings here. It allows you to control your quality settings, performance settings. This is where you really get that performance boost as well as some of the advanced settings. But nevertheless, if we click on shader packs here, we'll be taken to shader. Now you want to make sure that this is set to enabled. It might be set to enabled for you and that's perfectly fine, but if it's not, make sure it is set to enabled. Once you've got that though, click apply and your first shaders pack is going to be active. For us, that's BSL shaders. We can see all the shaders packs we installed, BSL, Makeup Ultra Fast, and Silders here. Now, if you do want to open up your shaders pack folder, we can easily do that. All we need to do is click on this open shader pack folder button here. And as you can see, that opens the shader pack folder. If we move Makeup Ultra Fast, for example, out, come back in game, hit this little refresh button, it's gone. It's not there anymore. If you want to add shaders packs back in, like Makeup Ultra Fast in this case, drag and drop that into here, click that little refresh button, and boom, there it is. To activate a shaders pack, simply click on it and click apply at the bottom. Boom, the shaders pack is active, mark is active by being yellow, and there you go. If we move back 
into a bigger Minecraft here. You can see that his marker is being yellow. We just clicked on it and clicked apply. Now we go in game. Our shaders pack is going to be active, right? So we jump into Minecraft here. The shaders pack will be active. You can easily switch shaders packs in game. So once we get in game here, we will do that. There it is. Wait for it. There we go. Boom. Shaders is active. Looking beautiful and make up ultra fast. I like this pack, by the way, because it gets high FPS. So if we hit F3, we can see we're getting over 170, 150 FPS with shaders installed. That's awesome. Let's look at a more graphically intensive shader pack like BSL though. If we go into options, video settings, shaders packs, and we select the BSL shaders by clicking on it and clicking apply, we'll see it change automatically in the background. It turns more white light versus yellow light. It's one of the advantages of BSL. But if we come back in game and we hit uh, that F3 button again, we'll see we're at under 70 FPS now, right? That's the difference that different shaders packs can make and why it's so important that you pick a shaders pack that is good for your PC. Every PC is gonna be different, so keep that in mind. Now let's just go ahead and check out the last shaders pack that we have here, and that is going to be the Silver's Enhanced Default. So if we click on that and click Apply, we can actually go into the shader pack settings here and change whether we want the fast version or the fancy version. Fast is going to provide us more FPS with less shading. So let's go ahead, come back out here, and we can see that we're getting over 300 FPS with shaders. You can see the grass is moving, the trees are moving, things like that with over 300 FPS. Sure, doesn't look the best, but it is shaders nonetheless, and it is getting tons and tons of frame rate. So nonetheless, that is how you can add shaders to Minecraft. By the way, every shaders pack is going to have some sort of shaders options. Some will have more options like Makeup Ultra Fast here. So let's go ahead and go with the, uh, if we go with the extreme plus settings here, it will actually be uh, relatively laggy, but it will look beautiful. Look at it. Look at the bokeh. <laughs> but nevertheless, absolutely beautiful. And that is how you can add shaders to Minecraft. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to do a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. Look at those clouds even. God, I love Makeup Ultra Fast. But we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.